My name's Tim Kevigan and I work in the sound department. In fact, I'm head of sound at Twickenham Studios. Um, I'm one of the lead mixers and I work in the room that you're recording in here now. Um, my main job obviously is to mix sound for um, movies, doing the dialogue, the sound effects, the music, ensuring what you hear in a cinema is pretty much uh, you know, what we control in here. Well, my name's Carl Childs. Um, I'm head of engineering here at Twickenham. Um, I've been here close on 10 years. Um, I look after all technical aspects across the studio site, um, predominantly of which is in these dubbing theatres where we do post-production film sound. Um, the studios has recently come under new ownership, okay. which has um, involved a considerable amount of investment in many areas of the site. Uh, well, the investment um, was firstly to bring us up to date with everyone else because we've you know, spent a few years lagging behind. But in fact, what it's done now, it's helped us surpass all of our competitors in a way that we now have the newest, most sophisticated console uh, and pro tools and switching facilities. So, I mean, we have the most flexible studio, bar none, I think, in the country. Okay, well we have, um, I mean the main centrepiece of the room is the mixing console, digital mixing console, which then um, takes in inputs from playback machines, which are all either Mac based, PC based. Um, we have uh, video servers running the picture onto the film, uh, we have HD, HD projection, 2K HD projection, um, and uh, also, all facilities needed for editors to work on the stage, um, hence the reason we have the KVM system of the calibre of the Adder Infinity. Whereas before our job was purely to make things louder, quieter and e equalise them, and we did that from our mixing console, um, the new equipment and the new screens and Pro Tools allow us to actually delve in and go a layer before us so we can now actually affect the audio before it gets into our console, um, which also helps massively. So we, have now, we now have control over every single aspect of it from these screens. I mean, I personally have, have used numerous different brands over the years for, for, for in various different situations, and I've always come back to the Adder Kick. I find it the most reliable, um, and we've, we've had a system, certainly in this room and our other main theatre, for close on 10 years that's, that's been very reliable throughout that whole period. So it was, it was quite, a, quite an easy decision for me, really. Yeah. We were trying to get away from having to add extra kit to what we've already got on the, the built-in infrastructure, if you like. Um, and obviously with a, with a network-based system, it's, it's easy to scale it. Um, it allows us to basically treat a monitor as if it's an IP address effectively, so you can just ping a signal to whichever screen you want to see it on, which is an increasing need in this environment. Um, it's got a great user interface, um, very user friendly, easy to use, um, and it just, it's just very reliable. It just, if, if, if you lose power, have power outages at all, the system all just comes back up again, everything identifies where it is and it's all working as it was before. Um, and, I mean, the way I see it with KVM, it's something that's not a very, it, it's something that's often forgotten about how important it is, and, and I think if you don't notice the system, then that's what you're striving for, because you don't want to be having hassles with mice not working, keyboards not working, and that can effectively draw a dub to a halt if people are having problems. I mean, the whole name of the game is flexibility and for us to be able to have a look at one screen and have a look at absolutely everything that's going on within the studio at any particular point. And that's so necessary because we have to have our hands on the music Pro Tools, the dialogue Pro Tools, the effects Pro Tools, um, and everything, every other little screen that we have, we have to access at the flick of a switch. We had a hotkey system before, which obviously meant you had to remember what was on what button, whereas now you've got the interface which as long as you know how to call it up, it's all there, listed. You can, in fact, you can label the machines accurately is great. So, you know, in the heat of the moment, there's no one for having to remember things too much. And, and, and again, it just takes that extra hassle away that you don't need so they can actually get on with the job in hand, you know. The server that then 
controls all of that, we will then be using to control our second dubbing suite as well on the same network. And again, it shows the, the flexibility of the system in that you only need the one server to then pretty much add limitless amounts of screens, which works really well for us. Well, the very fact that we now have um, exactly the same consoles in both theatres with exactly the same recording equipment, i.e. Pro Tools, which we didn't before, um, means that now a job can start in one room and finish in another. Um, we never ever had that before. And because each room is going to be absolutely identical, then switching between the two rooms won't ever be a problem again. Certainly the, um, the dual head capability is great because you can we often run in this, this dual screen setup, um, and there's sometimes a need for our mixers to be able to see two different machines, but on those same two screens that are in front of them. There is no stipulated area, as you can see. It's, um, it's all pretty accessible, which I find most people want to be involved to a certain extent, and then they want to sort of step back, dip their toe in and then step back. And so I think it allows for that. It's, it's often underestimated how important these, these pieces of equipment are because it's not necessarily fashionable to sort of think about it. It's, it's a more, it seems a more sort of secondary thing to the actual main systems but you know identifying the importance of it these days is really crucial to, to the workflow working smoothly. There could be seven or eight people all accessing the screens. Um, the sound editors generally only want to access their own but myself and my colleagues working on the console and the director might want to look at any one of seven or eight screens. So what we have now with the adder system is just fantastic.